That's a truly cinematic shot right there. Yeah, everybody, it's uh, Merle and the Mighty. We're doing a movie review, and who's off to the side? Who's off to the side? Just, I get, she's not quite in frame. Joe, I swear to fucking. <laughs> Lesser well, Troll? Yeah. How's it going? After determining that uh, Lesser Troll is now Ogre, I, I, is that correct? Well, nah, I guess that doesn't really fit me. He's Lesser Troll. No. Continue. Oh <laughs> Continue. No. Yeah, well, 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 in the theoretically, we're going to be reviewing uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, but uh, I guess we'll get right into it. Uh, who wants to go first? I never go first. Well, Lesser Troll go first. Lesser okay. Troll, or Goblin, Ogre, or whatever I am now, Skyler. Yeah. All right. What do you What do you exactly do you want to know? Is this a spoiler? Well, we always start off no, without spoiler. spoilers, like your general feeling about the movie, and then we'll go into discussion about any spoilers specifically. Uh, I would say all around a very decent movie. Okay. Really like the ending and how it like, you know, tied to some other movies. Um, like, you know, the dynamic between, like, the two mm -hmm. of, uh, Ant-Man and Wasp. Definitely. That was really good. Hank Pym was a little less of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less of an asshole. Slightly <laughs> less. Compared to the last one. That's all I can really think about right now. All right. Sounds good. <sighs> Gonna move over. I've got two people in the shop, but I'll start with the man that's closer. So that's Gimli. Better? Uh, no, no. Actually, I like the way it was before because you could see <laughs> trolls' reactions to the background to everything you're doing. It's great. Um, I would say it's a very good movie with um, about a father who is divorced and has split custody with his child mm -hmm. and trying to get back in the game. Um, very funny. Yeah. So that's what you'd say. It's it's about a man going through divorce and. Trying no, to be he, a sink, raising his divorce. And raising raising a, a child. That sounds like the plot of the first movie. Well, well I, going through subtextually the first one. Yes, it, you're not incorrect. There's also other stuff that. Oh happened. yeah. <laughs> but maybe it's all no, a metaphor no, for all, that. No, no, it's just all about. It's it's just, and, 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 and she knows yeah. that he has problems, and uh, it's very and non. He, he's he's trying to uh, overcome them, but he keeps messing up. Um, he gets really small and he gets big. That that definitely <laughs> happens. I agree. Um, good, good. Yeah, I'm gonna practice the zoom. Okay. Oh yeah, troll. Um, any thoughts on the movie generally? Uh, I like it quite a bit. Uh, it's very funny. This is the most hijinks um, based movie in Marvel. The other ones tend to have like a big plot, a lot of fucking people are going to die if they don't do do everything right in this one. And there oh, are stakes to this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There are stakes to this one still, but it's mostly, like, fun hijinks that everyone goes through. I, I don't think that many people die in this movie at all, really. Uh, no. I think the ghost person might ki kill, like, one or two, like, random The one enemies. FBI agent, I think, maybe. Yeah. But, um, yeah, other than that, the movie is just fun hijinks and worry about getting caught. Uh, I really like the dynamic between Ant-Man and Wasp. They made her her own superhero. She basically has most of the same powers as Ant-Man, except instead of being able to grow big, she can fly and shoot things. But her approach is very different than um, Ant-Man's, and they complement each other really well. They make a really good team, and they really show that awful lot in this movie. Like, whenever they fight someone together, they kick a lot of ass. Definitely. Um, but they can also both hold their own apart, despite... <laughs> Despite some of the challenges that Ant Man has in this movie, <laughs> <laughs> which are really kind of really funny, um, but yeah, it's it's really good. I liked it at least as much as I did the last one. It's not quite like Winter Soldier or anything like that, but it's no. it's still really damn good. It's a fun movie. All right. Well, you had something you wanted to say, Ogre? Yeah. Well, um, I thought the jokes also landed pretty well in this. Like there wasn't an overabundance like there was in like the second Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. This one I think handled it like better and like the jokes landed more. Okay. Do you like the comedy a bit more? They flowed yeah. better. Yeah, they flowed a lot they better. They sort of went, they went with the, what like, was actually going on. Yeah. They weren't just cracking jokes as they were fighting. Okay, like just randomly throwing them in. Yeah. Spider-Man style. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, well, uh, I actually agree. I thought it was a pretty fun movie, just generally speaking. Uh, I guess now we can dive more into spoilers. Uh, anything you guys want to talk about more specifically that you well, liked? What did you think about the movie? Oh, yeah, I, I, I just thought that it was fun. Um, you know, it was it was a good time. I thought the humor worked pretty well. I really liked uh, the dynamic between Ant Man and the Wasp, as the title shows. That you know, in the comics, they typically have that. Uh, I really, I think Hank Pym had a lot more to do in this one, and it worked pretty well. Like as yeah. a character, the, like it was definitely there was a lot going on in this one. Like all the characters had something to do, but like it was consistently entertaining no matter what despite that and I, I really liked the fact they brought back the jokes with his friends yeah. the ex-convicts they were starting a business Michael Pena I think is hilarious with his storytelling oh, like yeah. I wish they'd gone deeper into that joke because they kind of made fun of it again but I still enjoyed that um, um yeah I, I think uh, what came to mind was uh, I think you mentioned that earlier Troll the fact that unlike most Marvel movies there isn't Quite as much at stake this time around. You could say that it's a lot more personal. As, uh, the the um, the family dynamics and yeah. stuff. Uh, it's at stake is a lot more personal than what it is in most of the family. I guess, I guess well, that in a sense that makes it different yeah. than most of the other Marvel movies in the sense that it's not just a big supervillain superhero battle. It's I would say probably the closest comparison would be Guardians too. Yeah, there's. It's more of an adventure with just a lot of character interactions and interplay that makes it seem fun, but still fairly realistic. Uh, I, I was going to say that in terms of the, well, what's at stake. It, you could say that it's a smaller scale story. Mm. <laughs> what's that, honey? So bad. Well, they come here for the jokes. No, they don't. Okay, they come here for the analysis and yeah. the lovely. They come here for the anime. Well, yeah. mo <laughs> a few a few people indulge my my Marvel stuff, you know, once in a while. But you're right, anime reviews and stuff are, are pretty common here too. But yeah, overall, I, I like the movie. Uh, but did did you guys think that the lack of like a major villain might have been a detriment? Because I thought the villain in this one uh, was interesting. I thought it was just Ant-Man and his bad choices. <laughs> his, the, villain, the villain was basically... Yeah, man, his, that's his, what I was getting she at. Was, she was useful and necessary. She wasn't yeah. trying to take over the world. She was just trying to like, well, do her... You know what? I'm just glad it wasn't like another Ant-Man type yeah. person. She had yeah. different powers. Yeah. She You're different right. powers. You're right. It's like, wow, this is really interesting to watch them fight well, against. All right. It's fun. It's Marvel. Do more of this. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I, there I was just one issue I, I had with it. It was the only thing I thought of that kind of bothered me from a plot point. Maybe you guys can help me out with it. The motivation of the antagonist, so to speak... I thought was like a little thin like was it her dad worked for him and got fired so he went and tried to do the work yeah, himself he, and it he was wasn't like, in that yeah, like so she was just blaming him because it was like he wasn't there to help with the research but he it was her dad that was technically at fault not him yeah well she also just well, for was, the most part, it wasn't about revenge for her. For the most part, she just wanted the stuff so yeah, she could she leave. Survive. Spoiler alert, she wanted the, the, the stuff that they had so she to try to cure her. But even then, that doesn't really make much sense. It's why you're just like, you it, should know me. Yeah, like, you should, you should know who like, I am. I don't fucking but, know you. He becomes an, an asshole. He, he says <laughs> asshole waves hold everywhere on. he goes, and she has so, picked up on him. That's what he was <laughs> thinking about it. And he's like, wait, no, this wait. So, we don't know the exact details of why her father got fired either. Yeah. It could have been just like, well, she, oh, maybe he forgot to like put the cream in the coffee <laughs> one day. Sounds like it could have been that maybe kind of guy. Maybe back door on the line. Yeah. Right. But like, also, she was raised by S.H.I.E.L.D. and by that Goliath guy, right? Yeah. yeah. And they both hate Hank. <laughs> so it was understandable. It's like, it's like why, why did this have to ha happen to me? Because this asshole named Hank, <laughs> and she heard that well, all of her life, and she was Well, like, all right, th that's that's true. I guess you could say that maybe, like, subconsciously she had a lot of hatred, but it is one of those little holes I thought potentially, like, obviously there couldn't have been a movie, but... I mean, think about how many people have they shown from Hank, uh, from Hank Pym's past in these movies that don't hate him? No, that, I, I agree, <laughs> but that's true. 
But I was thinking maybe like they his, could have asked his him. His wife? Yeah. And, like, maybe his, Captain America's ex-girlfriend. His daughter likes him. Well, not in the first movie, Not in the really. first movie. She hated him in the first movie. That's true. Mm. She totally hated him in she the did. first she did. She was like, <laughs> she's like, I don't like working with you, but, you know, I have to because I don't want to deal with the bad guy from the first one. Did you guys think it was better or worse than the first one? About the same? I thought it was a little bit better than the first one. A little bit better? Just a bit better. Just a bit better? A bit better. Yeah, I like that. Um, the heist wasn't as big as the heist in the last one. Like, all the heist, heist tropes, heist movie tropes that they used in the first one, they really they held home. This one was more of, like, we're trying to do a heist, but everything keeps screwing up. Hijinks. Yeah, like, so it's uh, hijinks. They try to do a big heist, and everything goes through. So it just becomes how, a bunch of minor... Did, how, how did you guys feel about Walter Goggins and his like crew of black market dealers that wouldn't give up? I that. Those, guys, <laughs> those guys should have thrown in the towel as soon as they saw the ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they just like, kept coming. And as soon as like over half the cars were destroyed. <laughs> it's like, no, send in motorcycles because we got motorcycle guys now. Send them. <laughs> At the end, when, when Ant Man is like huge, he's trying to grab the He's like, let go. Just let go. You're embarrassing yourself. Let go. <laughs> that was great. Those guys um, were devoted. Yeah. Um, Janet Van uh, Van Dyne, Van Dyne, the first Wasp. <laughs> in this movie, Michelle uh, Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> she was really good. Uh, you don't get to see a lot of her since she's stuck in another dimension. They're trying to save her from the whole movie. At one point, she communicates with them via a very awkward scene where she possesses Best, I think Paul that Rudd. Was yeah. One of my favorite scenes. Where she possesses Paul Rudd, and we can see Paul Rudd trying to act like a mom. Paul Rudd's acting is pretty good. Like you could tell yeah. automatically what was happening right away, and it was like kind of funny, but it wasn't completely hilarious to break it down. I also didn't really understand how she did that. Quantum Entangling. shifting. Because yeah, she had quantum powers now because she was in the quantum world for. Yeah, a she's time. got healing quantum. powers now. Quantum. <laughs> Quantum <laughs> BS solves all the plot issues. Well, she was able to heal what's her face because At her problem end, yeah. was a quantum pa- problem, apparently. And then they went back in for more quantum healing particles. Like, the fuck, you guys? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, they're just trying to say, oh, quantum means you can just do at anything. One point, much. At one point, Amy even brings up, you just add quantum to game of everything you say, right? Pretty much. So it's sort of like X uh, um, Mutants? Fantastic Four with the, uh, was it Negative Zone or something? The Gamma Rays? Or? No, the. Um, but there's the negative zone. Yeah. But. Which Fantastic Four? Well, technically all of them, yeah. I guess. I think that's it. Negative zone. And it's just What like you go in there, that, weird stuff, just... Yeah, when you need that MacGyver thing, it's just... It's negative. in the negative zone. For here. It's... Neo oh, Jerry, need something? The Neo Jerry Combinator. <laughs> great. That's a great plot device. That's the greatest plot device ever. It makes the lizard, makes, like, Morbius living Vulture, vampire. Vulture, freaking... Just make vampires. Just make regular vampires. Makes you young. Yeah, actually. So what is you from so being one a in doubt, spider? just add quantum to it. So yeah. that's that's their thing now. It's just yeah. quantum. And I know this is a random side note, but I know that uh, Honey Lemon doesn't like it when they do it with these Disney and Marvel movies, but uh, I actually think they're getting better with the de-aging technology. Like... Michael Douglas in this one of those scenes, it was like almost like Michelle Pfeiffer from like twenty years ago. Like, it was like perfect, like almost perfect. Like I didn't wow, like this could be footage from twenty years ago. She Even when they did Carrie Fisher from like the Star Wars movie, she looked really good. They just like they held yeah, on. That she moved. Long. No, they just uh, held on it too long. That they they that still bugs me a little because she did look really good, but something was kind of off. Yeah. She started moving. What was it? Was the grin? Maybe, it, was yeah. the, it was just the big eyes and like, this is our one hope, you know, our last hope, new hope. It's a new hope. Oh God! And no, just stood there. For no, like two let's minutes. not talk about Rogue One right now. That or was Bergen. that was horrifying. <laughs> what about Solo? Solo was okay. Solo was okay. Did he? Uh, Still haven't seen. I heard it was pain. Well, from what I heard, uh, that it was painfully like average. It's, Except the guy was really bad trying to be Solo. <laughs> Got really he, convinced he, you he was Solo. Wasn't Harris? I mean, it was fun, but. It, you you guys don't need to rush to see it. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it on Netflix. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. Right. either that or Redbox, one or another. Yeah. yeah, that's what I recommend. I, you know, but it's it's worth seeing, but not fantastic. Uh, anything else related to uh, Ant Man? Yeah. Or other. <clears throat> uh, well, we knew what the ending was gonna be. I think yeah. we all kind of figured something like yeah, that was gonna happen. Yeah, the gonna save him. 
<laughs> uh, the very safe or after crash, they tie it into Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> like, completely fucking over it. <laughs> Alright, so they figure out how to get the quantum um, the gate mobile. thing working. Quantum tunnel thing working. And so, mobile. Yes, and mobile, because they put it in the back of a truck. So they send this poor bastard in there to collect quantum healing particles. Where the fuck quantum! Those things are. There it is again. And then he's like, alright, guys, pull me out. Comes up, uh, Shows it shows back in our world, and they just all been turned to dust by the uh, snappity. So <laughs> he'll be stuck there for who knows how long. And then he's like, "Guys, Quantum. guys, 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 this isn't funny now." Yeah, they he were. Does, they do show him getting together with. Um, okay, before that happens, <laughs> that's the very last thing. Happens, they do show him getting together with. Um, Lost Hope, which is pretty cool, and like they have a really sweet scene where they're uh, like a drive-in with between of them and his daughter. And it turns out they're just really Lost small. Man. But the laptop was like the big hitter. Yeah. Lost man. They really they use this shrinking technology really like creatively. Like this entire movie, the one of the MacGuffins that everyone's chasing is just this building that they can shrink down. <laughs> and, and, and cars. And, and, and cars. cars, the car stuff, and even with the combat, the whole shrinking versus the phasing was pretty fun. Yeah, oh, it's man. like yeah, because. Uh, with the ghost is her name is what they just call her in this movie, or uh, what, what's the one ex the, the one guy calls her Bobby Yaga. Yeah, it's Baba Yaga, the witch. But she can be, she can turn invisible. She can go through uh, matter, and she's not always there. So a lot of times when you try to hear your fist pass through. So they were doing this cool double act where one would, when she try to attack one, they shrink out of the way, and the other one grew really large and hit her. That was at the end of the movie, and that's when they start to actually win. But yeah. As I was gonna say, the it, um, Michelle Pfeiffer looked really cool in her like a thirty-year-old like suit, like one of the wings had broken off, and she was using it as a sword. She has like this hood from oh, somewhere. Oh, that's what that was. You know, <laughs> that was I, I was wondering what that was too. I was gonna ask about that because I thought like, where where did she get any of this? I, I'm you thinking know. she probably got trapped in what she said the time vortex things. Well, you know, but now she got out. Well, she yeah. says. Well, she says there's stuff there. Like she's been there for a long time. She's exploring. She that figured it out. And technically, in the comics, if you go re- that really small, there are planets and stuff in, in there. Yeah, it's a whole other so. universe, yeah. basically. So I'm guessing she was. She's explored a few of those things. I don't know. It could have been like some interesting. Did the, that sounds uh, like a potentially did good the movie itself. So. Effect of that. The snap. Oh, people. No. I don't know what the snap. Well, uh, I think the way he was trying to say it because he was in the quantum realm was the snapping didn't affect him. Because it's, it's in their universe, not all yeah. universes. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I do see that Ant-Man... I'll be really surprised if Ant-Man <coughs> doesn't show up in the next Avengers movie now, because I just imagine, like, they're fighting, like, Thanos, and a round portal opens up, and he comes stumbling out. I was like, oh, where am I? What? What? <laughs> you know what? I got something kind of really root nerdy that I was thinking about when it came to that wing that was hanging off, because I yeah. wasn't sure what that was. I thought that was, like, sort of a, a weapon, and I thought it was foreshadowing uh, the Reaper. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Like I remember, remember in Earth's uh, Mightiest Heroes, yeah. the Reaper when he showed up, just this badass guy almost took down all Shield, and I'm like, "The hell is he doing here?" <laughs> Dude with like a uh, he's just like an air he, sight. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he works for Hydra, and I'm like, "The Reaper?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" I was thinking way off there. Did you guys like what they did at the ending? Or they were kind of dicks. They did that thing, we waited till the end, and oh, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah, like Ant-Man and the Wasp will return, question Watch mark. Like. Honey, you were like, they were dicks. Isabel said, suck my ass. <laughs> is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> what this movie really showed us is that ants can be surprisingly good drummers. Yes. Good drummers. <laughs> and honestly, ants are really useful, apparently. Yeah, like, but ants can do anything. And really determined. <laughs> Well, as long as you know seagulls. Right? Seagulls. <laughs> seagulls. Seagulls. The are ultimate the weakness. <laughs> For real. Um, I, oh. Yeah. I was ho- I was kind of hoping that uh, when Ant Man fell into the water, a fish would eat him. But it was, uh, just, uh, but it was big at that point. Well, no, when he did get yeah, shrunk, he get shrunk down here. Yeah. yeah. It would have made the movie uh, something like. Go inside. You have to like guess. what? <laughs> what he like? <laughs> like you have to escape just the... grabs a fish. Just see Ant Man fighting a out. fish. <laughs> that actually would have been kind of cool. Or have to escape from inside the fish. Go through his digestive tract. That would have been an interesting direction to take. <laughs> no, he just enlarges why is that? Oh, that poor fish. <laughs> That's brutal. Um, yeah. That's all I have. 
Anything else? Anybody? Letter or number? Oh, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, we, oh, I guess we can go with letters. What, what are you thinking, Emily? I'll go with you. Um, I was, I'm torn in between like A and A minus. Really? You really liked it a lot. Yeah. All right. I'd probably go A minus. Sounds good. Troll. I'd go solid B. Solid B. B plus. Okay. B plus. I think it'd B plus too. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. If you guys like the first one, you'll probably like the second one and. Uh, I feel like Marvel movies are probably. I feel I feel like any, I I mean I know that some people weren't like super into Ant Man, but I mean, I feel I like I mean that what? wasn't really either, but I don't know. It just the Marvel movies have been at this point very good, and consistent. they keep on rising up. At this point, you can't really like pick. Panther. At this point, you can't really yeah. pick and choose Marvel movies. At this point, yeah. uh, new Marvel movies. Well, like, I see it. I I will say this though. <laughs> I mean, if you don't, you, you're going to be behind. With yes. Though <laughs> though this <laughs> one, in all fairness, you probably could skip it and not really miss anything. Yeah. yeah. Unless Ant Man shows up in the next. And then you'd be like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, but that's true. All right. Which is really good marketing. It yeah, is because yeah. you don't know, like what happened. Oh, this is what happened, and then maybe. If you skip it, you got to go back and find out. They're literally like the exact opposite of the DCEU, where the more movies you watch, the more confused you are going for. Wait yeah. Everyone hates your man last movie. What? Why is that one being... But, but Batman was really awesome last movie. Why does he suck now? Why is Superman pissed off Batman? He, they work together. Oh. And man, don't forget, <laughs> there's got to be multiple Joker and Batman movies now. Man. That just, no, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's not talk about the depressing thing known as the DCU. <laughs> Comes up too often. Last, like, three or four videos, we talked about it. But stop. Let's stop. If the next if the next one comes out and it's good, that's great. But no more. Well, we got to watch the next ah. movie just because it has the rocket as Black Adam. And I need to see how. I thought that was uh, Shazam. No, it's The Rock is Black Adam. So wait, he's he's gonna be in Suicide Squad. Yeah. yeah. What? So I wait, see, what? I need. Yeah, I need yeah, to Suicide see. Suicide Squad is gonna take on Black. Yeah, I need Adam. to see how Deadshot, Captain um, Boomerang, and Harley Quinn take on Black. Guys, Adam. They're, they're dead. Spoilers. They they're fighting like a. <laughs> he's like Superman level. That's. I did not know about that development. Wow. Oh God. What? Those of you don't know who Black Adam is. World War Three happened in DC Universe. And it was when Black Adam decided to walk across. A continent and fuck up anything in his way. Why don't we just send Superman there? Because. Was Superman off doing Superman things in space? Well, maybe it's Probably. when he was dead. Maybe it's maybe it takes place before uh, Justice League or nah. something. Nah. Even then, we could probably just send Wonder Woman and kick his ass. What is he gonna do? Throw lightning at her? That's no. fair. It's fair. You, you know what? It's what she did in my Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's it's okay. Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang got this apparently. Uh, well, <laughs> they got it. As as you heard here, folks, it's gonna be why well, I did not know that. That's that's dumber than I expected. We have to see it now, you know. Right? They got Katana too, probably. No, Katana is smart smart enough not to take that. <laughs> Oh, oh but her sword can trap the souls of men. Why don't they just use that in every bat? All right, okay, wrapping it up. Anyway, Ant Man was good. Say farewell, Ogre. Farewell. Skylar. Lesser Troll. Names yet to be determined. Not yet. If you come into another video, it'll be official. Dragonfly. Dragonfly? Alright, Lesser Troll. <laughs> huh? You should use a name generator. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I guarantee you that will not stick. I am blah 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 blah. Okay, well, Lesser Troll. Troll just sounds stupid. <laughs> what? Hey. All this time, all this time, how many years have you been gumming on these videos as Lesser Troll and secretly been resenting it? I have to be his voice. Well, even so, I I assumed that you were okay. Association well, with Troll like, Co. Well, you know, it's for the videos. Did like. anyone even ask him if he was okay? We just, he couldn't come up with names, so we said that, and he was like, yeah. I didn't really like it, but they <laughs> just called me. You gotta fight for what you want, man. I you just, gotta... I didn't know what I wanted to be called, I don't know. Well, moving on. <laughs> in any case, say farewell, troll. Farewell, troll. <laughs> Gimli. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching this very professional video, and uh, we'll see you in future ones. Stay magical. <laughs>